Hey everyone, it's Deja with KnitAndCrochetOverAfter.com and today I am going to review these prim, or this, not, I only got one, <laughs> this prim crochet hook. So I just reviewed the prim knitting needles and I absolutely loved them. Even though they were plastic and have very strange head tips, yeah, I guess that's what you would call it, <laughs> or strange tips. Um, they were awesome, and I'm actually using them on my next project because I love them so much. They are just like lightweight and awesome, and I can't say awesome enough. <laughs> I really like them. So I was really excited to see that they had crochet hooks as well. So I got an eight millimeter USL hook and I got that for a very specific reason. I absolutely hate my eight millimeter hooks, all of them. I have been searching for a good eight millimeter hook forever and I don't like plastic for the most part um, because they usually have like a rounded tip and I don't like rounded tips and even the metal ones that I have, they like this is an eight millimeter. I think this is like Susan Bates and you can see it's got kind of a point, but it's more rounded. It's like in line. But the worst part of these metal hooks is that the imprinting where the size is, is very raised and very like you can hear it and it rubs on the yarn and it's like fingers on a chalkboard and it's so oh, it gives me the chills if it hits it the wrong way i just i hate crocheting with these but i can't stand these plastic hooks either because they're really slow and they grip the yarn and it's just a pain all my eight millimeter hooks are horrible so when i saw that prim had eight millimeter i had to get it so i love their packaging and unlike the circular needles which i found out you know they're all purple each different crochet hook is a different color so um you can easily see what um you can you know pick out the different sizes as it the other one it says it's ergonomic it's got a really fat handle which you'll see when i pull it out it's a high performance synthetic material and that's what it said on the prim knitting knitting needles and i was like it's plastic but it's the make the the yarn glides very smoothly so i was really hoping that even though this seems like plastic it's gonna make the yarn slide easily and not be like all of my other plastic hooks so the package is very nice. I love their packaging. It's really nice. Um, and this is the hook. So straight out of the box, it's very light. Like it is just like the knitting needles where it's super light. It has this kind of grippy design of the teal, which I love this color, on the handle. The shaft is very very long so part of the problem with a lot of these eight millimeter hooks is the shaft is like super tiny like it ends there because that's where your finger hold is and all of that annoying um yeah the you know what i mean so the shaft is much longer which could be a good thing or a bad thing because i usually will like go till it hits which is the problem with that one because it always goes right to where that embossing is and whoa. but um, I love the head shape. This is just kind of like um, a more or clover. Like it's got that nice pointed where you can get into the stitches easily. I love that kind of head shape. So I'm very excited to try that. There are no edges on the hook. It's totally smooth. It does feel like plastic, just like the knitting needles. It feels like the same kind of material. Um, the size is on the bottom here the one thing that i wish it did it's got just l so it just has the us size i wish it had the millimeter size because on some like four millimeter could be an f or a g depending on the 
uh, maker so that could be a little confusing and you know that like the the Susan Batenich check these are hard to actually figure out um, after you take them out of the packaging so that's my one complaint I wish that it would have the millimeter size but most letters coincide with a certain size so I should be okay um, but I want to go try this out and see how well it works because that's the most important part it's cute and everything but if it doesn't work it's pointless so let's go try it out and see what I think okay so I've been using this for quite a few rows on this project because I wanted to be able to give it a good go without having to say like immediately do I like this do I not like it and when I first started to be truthful I was like eh, I don't know if I like this I was getting used to how long this shaft is because I usually on my other crochet hooks that have kind of like a stopper I'll crochet to that point that's just like my normal like as I work kind of stopping point but after working you know rows and rows of this I got used to how the shaft is I got used to the way everything is pointing how the handle is and I'm actually really liking this hook I'm crocheting a little slower than normal be just because I'm crocheting through a camera <laughs> but when I'm not with the camera I go quite fast with this hook and so the yarn slides easily I have no problems at all with it getting caught or being sticky it's not got that at all this material is really cool and um, easy to use with this acrylic yarn so I'm really really happy with this hook and how it's working out I love the head of it that really that pointy really gets into my stitches easily so after using it for a little bit of time I really like how it's working out so if you get it straight out of the box and you're using it and you're not sure about how you feel about it give it a few rows get used to the difference because I do think that this is probably the longest shaft of a crochet hook that I have so get used to using it and I think that you will be happy with it after you work with it for a little bit so let's go do some final thoughts on this so overall I'm, I'm digging this I really like the hook as a whole especially for my eight millimeter projects this is my go-to I'm probably gonna trash all my other donate I won't trash them I'll donate all my other eight millimeter hooks that give me the chills and start using only this one from now on I'm probably gonna go check and see if they have a 6.5 as well because that's my other nemesis <laughs> nemesis for hooks I can never find a good one in a 6.5 I had to get one made from Bee Queen um, it's my my wooden one that I put in a lot of my Instagram quote pictures. Um, I love that hook, but wood, um, you know, it's a good one too as well and it works well, but having a backup is always a good idea. So will I switch to all prims? I don't think so. I think I'll use these for the sizes that I really have a hard time finding good hooks in. I'm probably going to still stick with my Edimo tulips or my Clover soft touches for everyday projects because I already have them. They were very expensive. They work fantastic. I've never had an issue with them, but I definitely recommend getting these if you like plastic, if you are looking for that ergonomic kind of handle and if you like the style of them you know some people have hooks just because of how they look so they definitely work well the plastic is very smooth and slidey i love that about it they are a little pricey they're about eight dollars a piece so they are kind of on the level of like a tulip edamo or that soft touch more um, they have four packs on Amazon, but it's pretty much the same. It's like $32, $33. So they have like a smaller pack of four of popular sizes and then a larger one, which I believe the size is included. So you can get like a pack and try them out or just get one. If you have a size like I do, where you're just having a hard time finding a good hook in that size, I totally recommend these. 
They are working fantastic. These are great also for kind of slippery yarn. So if you use metal hooks and you're crocheting with cotton bamboo and you're finding like it's just, it's hard to keep the tension, the yarn wants to slide out of it, try a plastic hook. It can kind of grip it a little bit better and will kind of help with the tension problems if you're having that. But overall, I like it. I'm keeping it. I'm using it. Let me know what you think in the description or in the, in the comments below <laughs> and let everyone know if you've used these and what you think. So I'm Deja with Knit and Crochet Ever After and thank you for watching.